So guys, welcome to the third clip of Detroit Become Human. And I hope you enjoy it. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. I did Barbara. what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Oh, joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Fail, they're never tired, never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. That's all. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Alice. Reason with Todd. I guess I'll just have to protect Alice. Oh no, this is Todd's room. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! You're coming with me. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Very mad! 
No! No! What the fuck are you doing here? I gave you an order! No! I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me. She's mine. I do what I want with her! No! No! the wrong button and this happened. Good. That's Got enough. the wrong message. Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Oh shit. Let's go, Kara. Let's go, Kara. Watch out, Kara. Come here, bitch. Up, up. Shake, shake, shake. Nice, Kara. Oh, this is so intense. Go. Run away. Why are you walking like that? Oh my gosh, that scene was so intense. Okay, so I guess we're back to Carl's house. After that party they were talking about earlier. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Got it. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself. Oh, sorry. Oh, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. 
Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Oh, Carl, I want you to go in there. It's dangerous. Oh, it's Leo. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. Yeah, you need to leave, Leo. All you ever do is tell me to go away. I'm What's not wrong, Dad? You. Not Look good enough me. for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special, what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus? Don't defend yourself. Also, I guess when the yellow thing don't do it like that, the software. Go ahead, hit me. Stable. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Stop. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you. Oh. Carl. Software unstable. Leo. Oh my God. Leo, my little boy, Carl, I, they'll destroy you, Marcus, you gotta go, get out of here. Get out! Somehow I feel kind now! of guilty about doing Go! that. I didn't thought Leo was gonna die. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! If 
Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio-components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. 
What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Well, I guess... The sculpture was an offering. Androids. An offering to whom? Are affected by some kind of virus. That's that's my theory for right now. Only RA9 well, I want you guys to comment down below. What theories do you have about RA9. this RA9 or Who is RA9? About Android become becoming unstable? This game should have been. Instead of running away, Android become unstable. I didn't know what to do. Detroit become human. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Feeling emotion. Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? I think I'm gonna interview. Move it! Oh, 100% level of stress. Oh, no! Holy shit! I did not see that coming.
All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. spend the night. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. So where are we supposed to go about this? You tell me. Hotel. Looks like we found a place to stay. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Well, I guess, I guess there's some kind of clothes here in the laundromat. There should be. Oh, can you hear the snoring? I mean, this game's just so detail detailed. Dry right, clothes for Alice. I hope you don't wake up. Please don't. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Well, if there's an option. 
I would like to get your tablet as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mission successful. Mission done. Mission completed. Thank you. Kind guy. Where are we supposed to go? I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Door is still open. Can go Maybe here. we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Now that we look human. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood.
why? Please. Alice, just trust me. Way to go, Alice. Way to go. You alright? Faster, Kara. Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Can I see your driver's license? Well, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you... Be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat.
clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Well, so I guess that's it for this video. Well, I hope you, I hope you like my gameplay and uh, peace out.